A very good and cold morning Dutch bike blogger here. Thank you for riding with me. Since I was last time on the bike, see card in the top right corner for that video. The snow that fell is still here. Currently two minutes past 11 in the morning of Thursday, December, or the 16th of December 2022. On my bike for a short bike ride. It's cold, minus three or so, wearing gloves and a hat. And I thought to myself, let's go outside. Two reasons. Of course, I wanted to go outside. And second of all, I did not have any videos left. I had to make a video because tonight, that's the 16th at 8 o'clock, one video will be published. And Friday one, and then I'm out of video. So that's not very cool. So I thought to myself, let's go out and about and just white world by the way probably you did see my video where I was when it outside when it was snowing with my waterproof case that was not a big success I can tell you for that video click the card in the top right corner there was a lot of rattling I don't know where the rattling is coming from there has two possibilities but I did not find out which possibility it is one, that could be that the camera in the housing is not secure and that it's rattling. It's also a possibility that the connection from the house waterproof case to the harness is not okay. And there's a little rattle in there. I, when I attached it, I felt some movement, a little bit more movement than I have with this setup. And it can very well be that things are are not in a waterproof case that the camera is rattling in a waterproof case but that the attachment to the harness is the problem in this setup i'm not using the waterproof case i'm using a what i call slimline case it's a plastic housing that's open from the front and the back and the sides just it has a mount on the bottom which can connect to the harness and there's a j hook it's a plastic hook where the camera is attached to and that hook is attached to the harness in this setup sound is better and also I attached the, the hook to the harness with a piece of well paper in there and a thin slice of paper or actually two it's actually a corner of an envelope cut to size pushed in the harness and the and the attachment of the camera to make it less uh, rattling I did that also with the attachment on the waterproof case, but still some movement. So maybe that's the pro problem. It can be because when I listen to my older videos of the same setup with a waterproof case, there's no such rattling. At least way less than I'm having in that video. not very uh, fast to ride I can tell you it's snowy and therefore also it could be very slippery so let's be very careful let's be very careful riding your bike no guarantee that I'm not going to slip but when I slip I'm going a lot slower and probably I hope can keep upright I do have to say this is the worst part of the city there's no municipality truck putting salt or whatever on the road there are much better parts of the road which are clean we will be there in a minute I think but it's just nice to go outside and film all this 
channel is still open, still birds in there. There's the Van Starkenborg Canal. Ships are still traveling on there, of course. And I think it will stay open. I heard in the other regions of the Netherlands they have already had water, uh, you know, flats of water, uh, farmland, or specially designed ice skate rings. Water on there, and then of course when it freezes you get ice. Well, there are several places that it's already ice is thick enough to skate on. Ice skating. People in the Netherlands can do that. Did in my youth too, but not so much these days. I see not much of an ice skater. I can do it, I can go forward, but that's it. Well, it's a bit cold. Wind in the face doesn't help really. Makes it colder. I'm wearing a hat by the way, some gloves, and a lot of sunshine now, wow. Let's go this way and let's go of this nicely clean bike lane. I showed you, municipality has some routes they keep clean. The reason that this is clean because if they put salt on here, that melts the snow of course. And then it's much nicer of a ride. To say the snow that is there is very thin, it's not that you have to wade through it. Probably you think in Canada, well, that's not snow. Or in Finland or in Sweden, no. I can safely say this is not really big, big snow. Oh, daredevil with a bike without keeping your hands on the handlebars really safe way to ride in these slippery conditions. I do have to say there is some snow still on this bike lane. I expected it to go clean all the way but free music. Car stereo was quite loud. Imagine when the distance in the outside what it sounds on the inside. Well from bird and this is ice is frozen over bird is standing on the pond probably waiting to fish to get for air and then have breakfast the easy way getting a little bit cold hands I have to tell faster than I am, one electric bicycle, one just pedaling faster than I am. I'm not in a hurry, I'm not gonna waste my energy. Why should I ride very fast when it's not necessary? Like I said, it can be slippery. out of the line. I went to the left. I was looking at the camera still was working. Well it was. But then I veered off to the left. Not good. Eight minutes into the ride. A little bit more maybe but something like that. No traffic, so let's continue straight onto the Platan Pot. No scoo scooters allowed or motor vehicles. Electrical ones are, but when you have a fuel powered scooter or moped, you're not allowed here. Now that keeps people from going here, but 
also do have to with the environment environment rules keeping the nice and clean greenery is also livable and in shorts that would be quite uh, cold I think I'm wearing long pants and still cold No idea how long the weather is keeping up with this charade. I switched it or I charged it before I left until the point I left. But I think barely life will be short in this kind of weather conditions. That's all but due to the fact with well some explanations that the uh, Neutrons go to the plus to the minus and with cold weather there's a problem and then the act the battery will go act like it's flat still it's not because it's warmed up there's still power enough in there not an electrician not a scientist I don't know but something like that Let's go here. A little bit off track, but there has been people here because it's tire tracks and also some snow is gone. At least I'm not going to drive in the mud here. That's for sure. A little shortcut, not never known to many people. Would have wanted to say nobody, but now that's not true because they like I said there are tire tracks. A oh, bit of a bump in here. A bit of a dip here. We are still rolling, yes we are. And actually going to end up at the Zonnelaan. When we ended up at the Zonnelaan, I think I have to start a new video. Way easier in editing. So thanks for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, check out the description box and join me in part two.